Welcome back, everyone. Now we're in Paris with tabletop designer Marie Dodge. Marie uses the table as the canvas for her artfully designed, hand-painted collections. Now she opens the doors to her own live-work home in Paris's 8th arrondissement. Take a look. Welcome to my house. I am Marie Dodge. A uh, designer of tabletop porcelain of Limoges since 30 years, which is a very traditional technique since the 18th century. Today we are in my flat in Paris, in the middle of the very, very Osmanian area, the 8th arrondissement. So let's have our little tour. Follow me. So here we are in the entrance. As you can see immediately, there are stripes everywhere. Stripes for me are modern, are empire, are old period. Mirrors are opening the rooms, are bringing some light. So I think it's very important to get mirrors. On the other part of the wall, you have this stained glass. I love the contrast of this nearly bleu clin and the very soft pink and celadon in the middle. I think it's very important to respect historical pieces that you will see it in my house that I really kept everything which was traditional and old and beautiful because that's part of history of Paris. So you should maintain this patrimoine. Follow me, let's go in the salon. So here we are in the salon. I love it because it's full of light. We have these two big windows and we can see the sky. I decided to paint this room in this very soft marron glacé color, which is a color that I made myself. And I find it interesting because it allows you to mix it with all kind of colors. This sofa is a huge one. I like when it's very comfortable. I want that you feel happy in a warm and very chaleureuse atmosphere. The table it's a modern table that I have made very simple, very pure. And I like the contrast with these more Baroque chairs, which are from uh, Regence period, 18th century period. On the walls, these are some paintings of a very good friend. Underneath, my canvas fabric, shocking pink. And this is used for storage. On the floor, uh, carpets that I bought in New York. I love the square, very geometric, which is a good contrast with the Baroque uh, stucco work of the ceiling. On my table de jeu, a little African mask from South Africa, my Austrian grandmother, the sand of different deserts where we travel with the children. And this is a tiger of my husband. He's very proud. He was 16 when he did it. So these are very beautiful details of this Osman period. We call them Espanolette, the way of opening the windows. So you have a nice contrast with the gold and the black. I love to have a balcony because it's like a little garden and it's so nice to go out and to have this fantastic view on the church, Saint Augustin. I bring you now in a very important room for me, which is of course the dining room. So here we are in a very important room where everything happens, all the lovely conversation, all the nice time you can spend around the table. For the color on the walls, I choose this vert de gris. On the top of the doors, this very lovely stucco work. The floor is a parquet in Pointe de Hongrie. So here, the central piece, uh, the two black iron, very modern tables, which rise up the beauty of the plate. A charger will be one collection, dinner plate another one, and dessert a third collection. I'm also very proud of this collection. I wanted to have something where you could feel the brushstroke. I wanted to have the impression of feathers. There is a whole little story going on with these little goblets, which are making a little road in the middle of the table. I have mixed different patterns. As long as there is a little line in the colors, you see that everything can be mixed. I love this room because it's really a room where I can be free for my inspiration. So now that we have seen the public rooms, let's go in the backstage. So now we are in my 
bedroom. I wanted this room to be very comfortable. That's why I decided to put some fabrics on the walls. On the bed, you have this very, very old carpet that I bought in Alexandria, as well as uh, gravure on the wall, which are all gravure from Egypt. I'm very proud of this uh, little sky that I did here. The fabric is this uh, wonderful fabric of uh, braconnier, which I also use on the curtains. I use all these typical French fabrics, and I love fabrics as much as I love porcelain. Finally, here you are in my studio, a room where I spend a lot, a lot of time. Initially, it was a dining room with this huge Renaissance chimney. Today, it's a place where I'm creating my colors and surrounded by my 230 children's patterns of plates. And I spend hours creating, doing the sketches. It's a very important room that inspires me every day. I was delighted to open my doors to show you my place, to show you the things which are important for me, colors, decoration, happiness, beauty, the mix of tradition and modernity. I hope you enjoy the tour.